Well, if you don't have the flu, there's a good chance you know someone who does. That is because flu season is here and here in New Mexico. It is one of the worst states in the whole country for it right now. News 13's David Romero is here with more. So, David, is there anything we can do about this? Well, Matt, if you didn't get your flu shot and you're one of the unlucky ones to have caught it, there's not a whole lot you can do right now, but you're not alone. According to the activity map from the CDC, in the course of one week, the spread of cases in New Mexico went from a level of regional to widespread. Now, that's the same situation for a strong majority of the country as well. In tracking cases, the CDC breaks the country down into 10 regions. New Mexico sits in the second highest tier of patient visits for influenza. Physicians here say that about 40% of the patients they see for the flu have the virus. All those patients affected have displayed the same full symptoms of either influenza A or B. Medical professionals still recommend that people who haven't gotten the flu shots to get one immediately. They also recommend that people should practice the usual washing of hands and avoiding sick people. Doctors say the situation is expected to get worse before it gets better. Fortunately, thank God, no deaths that we're aware of. There's been four pediatric deaths in the healthcare region, so flu is something you take seriously. Seriously indeed. Now, coming up in the next half hour, we'll give a little breakdown on some of the so-called flu remedies out there and how they may or may not help. Matt, back to you. All right, thank you for the info, David. Now, once again, doctors say it is not too late to get a flu shot, and they're usually free if you have health insurance. All right, the big story this morning, unfortunately, is the flu, because here in New Mexico, it is here with a vengeance right now. Yeah, and like I just said, if you haven't gotten it, it may be a matter of time. So with so many different types of medications out there, how do you know which is the best to take to make it go away quicker? We sent our News 13's David Romero to go talk to a doctor to get some answers. So David, what would you find out? Well, Elizabeth, I was talking to Dr. Iacone yesterday. He told me that the almost surefire method to avoiding it all is the flu shot. But some over-the-counter medications may help decrease the severity of the virus. Now, Dr. Iacone tells us that you can still get the flu shot even in the middle of the season. And even if you get the flu shot, uh, you still want to practice smart ways to avoid it altogether. Now, that includes washing your hands often and avoiding people infected with the virus. Now, for people who have the flu, here's where the advice of to how to take it comes in. Now, there are a lot of over the counter medications these days. Most are effective. The key thing to remember is if you have the flu, you need to start taking the medication immediately or it may not even work. There are two effective medications on the market. One is called Tamiflu um, and is a, is a trade name and the other one is Relenza. And currently there are no strains resistant to either of those products. You can still take Tylenol or aspirin for symptoms of the flu. Just make sure you take the prescribed dose on the bottle and watch for any side effects. Elizabeth, back to you. David, thanks. The doctor says the bottom line here, the most common symptom is fever. So if you feel a cough or pain in your stomach associated with the fever, the doctors say to go see them immediately.